here we go. Look, we got the chief back. We'll go ahead and call tonight's regular city council meeting to order. Hey, before we get started here, we've got a city employee that had a death in the family. Uh, Dave Spiegel. Uh, his his sister uh, has Down syndrome, had Down syndrome. I believe now, I'm not sure of her age, she's uh, in her 50s, I believe, early 50s, maybe mid 50s. And that's that in itself is uh, rare to have a Down syndrome live you know, that long. But when you have a special needs person in your family, boy, it, it, it really tugs at your heart because your life revolves out of necessity around that person and there's a, a fantastic tie there <clears throat> that makes the passing of someone just just that much more traumatic so I'd like all of us to keep a uh, Dave in, in, in our prayers uh, he's going through a very tough time on a loss like this and it's understandable why he would be so basically in as a favor to him I would like to have a moment of silence for his sister uh, Debbie Spiegel please Thank you. For tonight's invocation, we've got the Reverend Bill Kearns from the Davis Memorial Christian Church. Reverend. With all our heads. Loving God it is indeed a humbling experience to be served the public. <coughs> we all serve the I think all of us in this room serve the public in different ways. And Sometimes we wonder why we're doing it. But other times we are reminded that we're doing it, that in our own way that we're trying to build your kingdom here at Taylorville. And so I just ask, dear God, your continued blessings upon each one of these city aldermen. I know that they've made a lot of sacrifice of time and money and sometimes aggravation. I pray, dear God, that they'll just keep before them the vision that you have for this community, and that they will be enthused by that vision that you're giving this community as to ways that we can make life better for all citizens here in Taylorville. This we pray in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Roll call, please. Sean Bertle. Here. Bernie Dorchin. Here. Bob Heverly. Here. Bruce Jones. Ray Coons. Here. John Lawrence. Here. Martin Voda. Aye. Earl Walters. Here. Seven aldermen present, one absent. The first item on the agenda, we have a motion to utilize the omnibus vote for so approval of the minutes of the previous <clears throat> meetings and public hearings listed on tonight's agenda under the title of omnibus vote designation. Alderman Dorchin is, second by Alder, Alderman Kuntz, I believe. Discussion or comment? Your Honor, I'd like to have the uh, minutes of the Street and Sewer Committee, uh, or not that one, uh, the minutes of the Special City Council meeting held August 30th, 2012, pulled, please. Okay. Request to have that pulled. <clears throat> So we've got just the minutes of the uh, public hearing, uh, August 20th, the minutes of the regular meeting held August 20th, 2012, and the minutes of the Street and Sewer Committee meeting held August 23rd, 2012. Any other comments? Roll call, please. Bernie Dorchin, yes. Yes. Rob Heberlin. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Motion passes. Now for the actual vote itself, again, it was for the men's of the public hearing of August 20th, the regular meeting of August 20th, and the Street and Sewer Committee meeting held August 23rd, 2012. Entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Alderman Lawrence, second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Bob Haverly. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchin. Yes. Motion passes 7-0. That brings us to the plan commission. I'd ask Mr. Hauser to summarize Thank what you, most of us witnessed. Uh, this evening, uh, uh, there were two items before the planning and zoning commission. Uh, the first one was uh, 
a uh, special use request which was made uh, by Professional Video Systems Incorporated, uh, Jim Hanley, President, and Stephanie Hanley, Secretary, to construct two fourplexes at uh, uh, a property address as 425 South Cheyenne Street. Uh, there were quite a few uh, people who came to the meeting, neighbors primarily, and a uh, representative of the, uh, of the builder of development. And uh, a lot of commentary was heard, and uh, the, uh, having to discuss that and search it all in, the uh, Planning and Zetting Commission voted uh, unanimously uh, to not recommend approval of that uh, to the City Council. Okay. I'll tell you, with that being said, I would entertain a motion here to follow the Plan Commission's recommendation not to approve. I'll make that motion. Okay. Alderman Walters, second by Alderman Bertle. Additional discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Ray Coots. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ray <coughs> yes. Rob Heberling. Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. Okay, uh, there was uh, the second item that came before our committee was the uh, the, the site plan uh, for the uh, proposed plot flex at uh, 425 uh, South Cheyenne Street. And uh, <coughs> once again, the uh, Planning and Zoning Commission uh, voted to not recommend the approval uh, of that to the City Council. Okay. So with that said, I entertain a motion to basically, <coughs> I guess we reject the Site plan. <coughs> Pardon, Dave. Really, it's just uh, accepting the recommendation. Accept the minute recommendation. Really not a recommendation. Okay. There you go. <coughs> Alderman Bertle, you the made vote that. Vote was. I'll second that. <coughs> second by Alderman Walters. Additional discussion or comments? Hearing none. Roll call. <coughs> John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Bowen. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ray Dorchinas. Yes. Rob Heverlin. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. Motion passes seven to zero. The. Uh, there was uh, there were no other uh, items presented before the planning and zoning commission, so we uh, we adjourned. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hauser, and thank you everyone for the uh, work they did tonight. This is how it's supposed to work sometimes. So thank you. thank you. Okay. The next item I think we have here on the agenda is a resolution for the uh, public utility easement agreement with Philip H. and Henrietta Tullis. I'll entertain a motion to approve that resolution. So move. Alderman Lawrence. The second? Second. Second, Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinas. Yes. Rob Heverling. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Mask. Motion passes 7 to 0. Next resolution of public utility agreement with the city of Pena, Illinois. Entertain a motion to approve that resolution. So Again, this is the, uh, for the water line going uh, uh, to the, uh, I think it's the Mayhan property out there on 29. Yes, it is. Uh, where it's going to bore under the road and uh, under the bike trail. I'll make that motion. Alderman Thanks. Lawrence, second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Earl Walters. Yes. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchin. Yes. Rob Heverling. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Motion passes 7-0. Next, we have an ordinance amending paragraph 2 of Title 11, Chapter 9, Section 1 of the City of Taylorville Code addressing site development plans. Entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Alderman Boda. Second. I get a second. <coughs> Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie Dorchinas. Yes. Rob Heverling. Yes. Ray Coons. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. <coughs> Next, we have an ordinance rescinding the uh, City of Table Ordinances, number 1857, 1858, and 2428, addressing signage governing traffic on Hainer Street, Taft Street, and Maxwell Street, and amending City Ordinance number 1931, as found at 6-4-3-1, to correctly state the true name of Hainer Avenue. So moved. I'll second that. Alderman Heverling. Second by Alderman Walters. Should you have a comment? Yes, Alderman Walters, this was go just ahead. cleaning up some, some various ordinances that uh, uh, we already had in place out there for uh, yield signs and so forth, and we get all uh, correct for those okay. stops. Any other comments? Hearing none, roll call. Ernie Dorchinas? Yes. Rob Heverling? 
Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. John Lawrence? Yes. Martin Boda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Sean Burgle? Yes. Motion passes. Okay, next we have a motion to allow youth hunting at Lake Taylorville on October 6th and the 7th with the same rules as last year. I'll make the motion, Your Honor, with a comment. Alderman Voda, need a second? I'll second that, Your Honor. Alderman Walters, go ahead with the comment, Alderman Voda. Uh, Your Honor, these were uh, the next, that, that motion and the following motion uh, regarding the trapping were uh, overlooked at the last Lake and Airport Committee meeting. That's why they make, make their appearance on this evening's uh, <coughs> Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? Harry Nunnell is in favor. Aye. 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 Against? The motion passes. Next, we have a motion to allow trapping at Lake Taylorville for the 2012-2013 season with the same rules as last year. Yeah, I'll make that motion also, Your Honor. Okay. Second on that? Sure. Second. Alderman Lawrence, discussion or comments? Harry Nunnell is in favor. Aye. Aye. Against? The motion passes. Next, we have a motion to allow the Knights of Columbus to hold their annual Tootsie Roll Drive on September 21st and 22nd at the corner of West Main Cross and Webster Streets. Your Honor, these, uh, uh, we try our best to, to, to uh, have the various uh, clubs and organizations get these things to us in a timely manner, but sometimes they slip on, up on them. And so we couldn't address these with any type of motion at the street uh, committee meeting, so I asked to have them put on the council agenda so that we could go ahead and let these organizations go through with that. So, uh, I will make that motion. Okay. Second. Yeah. Second by Alderman Heberling. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. Next, we have a motion to allow the Taylorville High School homecoming parade to be held at 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, September 27, 2012, using the same route as last year. Again, Your Honor, I'll make that motion with the same comment for the previous one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second? Second. Alderman Heberling. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? That motion passes. Next, we have a motion to direct the street and sewer department to remove the spruce tree from the boulevard at 2305 Lakeshore Drive. Your Honor, I think we should probably wait until we do the next one for the uh, uh, approval of the minutes of the tree board meeting, and okay. then I can get into that, to that motion there because it's part of the tree board minutes. Okay. If that's the proper way, uh, correct me, buddy. Sure. I don't think it really doesn't matter yeah, because the minutes you're just approving are okay. something that's already well, done I'll recorded. Go ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and make the motion then. Okay. Second. Second by Alderman Bertle. Additional discussion or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Motion passes. Next, we have a motion to approve the minutes of the tree board meeting of August 21st, 2012. I'll make that motion, Your Honor. Second. Okay. Second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Uh, one thing Go ahead, uh, to, to bring to everyone's attention in the second paragraph of the, the tree board uh, um, minutes, uh, they're still waiting for the, uh, uh, the final results on the lab test for the uh, ginkgo trees around the square. One thing that was noted was one chemical in particular has already been found. So we're waiting for additional information to find out whether chemicals, if any, were found in the soil around the square with the ginkgo trees. I do know they did get that report today, but there's supposed to be kind of a synopsis or something to explain it. We got the actual uh, results of the things found with long scientific names. <clears throat> so we need someone to, and we need that piece of paper that tells us what all that means. So hopefully we, they were supposed to get that maybe this afternoon. I don't know. The chief's shaking his head, so they had not received it yet. So. Will you put a memo out then on that, Your Honor? I will. One question, Lauren Voto can probably answer this. I caught we're uh, going to replace the trees at Route 29 McAdam Drive. Is that correct? Well, there's been a request that we replace them, but since the, the uh, since it's a severe drought this summer, I think she's wanting to wait till we get a little bit further into fall, take them all out at the same time, and replace the ones that didn't make it. Okay. I guess the question I have is the financing of the trees is that going to be donated again? Well, I'll be looking at she, she's pretty good at the. Uh, Getting the donation, so I guess we'll replace it. as much money will allow. Depending on how many trees didn't make it, I don't know if we get a firm count right. on yet. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. <clears throat> Next, we have a motion to direct the city engineer to apply for an Illinois Green Infrastructure Grant Program for the stormwater management. Your Honor, I'll make that motion with a comment. Okay. Second. Second by Alderman Hebling. Go ahead with your comment. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Yeah. Gentlemen, you have this in your packet. 
uh, this is something that's come up rather uh, fast for us for information purposes. It appears that we would have a, a, a real good chance of getting some additional funding to help complete some more of the stormwater projects in the city park area uh, to finish that up and maybe some other places in town. Uh, there is a deadline on um, applying for that. It looks like ours would be under number two, which would be stormwater retention and in infiltration category. Maximum amount would be 750000 or 75 percent of the eligible project cost. We'll get additional information as we go along with this. But I think it's something that we should at least apply for and see if we can, if we can get some additional dollars to help us. Because I've, I've used all you gentlemen's $10 million pretty well. So I'm looking for some additional dollars to complete some more stormwater projects. That does beg the question. Under the, I did have a question on how much we would have to pay, and I believe it's a, a minimum of 25. The city engineer suggests we might want to up that if feasible, feasible to make us look better as far as acquiring the grant. Right. We can use some of the existing funds we have that, we, that aren't completely spent. So if we need to take a certain portion right. of that out to apply for this, we that's can. where that money could come yes, from. Yes, because it would, be, it would be proper to do that. Good. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Roll call, please. Bob Heberlin. Yes. Ray Coots. Yes. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Ray Bertle. <clears throat> yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. And before we get any uh, further, I uh, think I forgot. You asked to have the uh, special city council meeting uh, minutes of August 30th pulled. Did you want to? I would like to comment on it, Your Honor, if I could. <clears throat> I know the. Uh, the evening that we had that meeting, there was a lot of information that was displayed and presented to us, and uh, I think a lot of a lot of our thought process was kind of jumbled. And I guess what I'm trying to do here is is kind of present to everybody where I, I went back and actually did some homework, some looking, some reading. I know one of the questions we had was uh, going to be addressed to the uh, city attorney regarding the uh, uh, the incumbent non-incumbent salary. Range. Okay, mm -hmm. I hadn't heard back on that, so I wanted to get some confirmation on that. Um, uh, one of the things was be, pre be prepared to discuss our ideas was in one of the uh, one of the moments that came out, and, and we went from a very open <laughs> discussion to a discussion that was kind of once an individual. Well, once Mr. Dorchin has got a, got the floor, uh, a motion was made right away, and we were looking at a three percent potential pay raise. We got that down to one percent, and uh, that kind of got me thinking where we're at with the city. Um, several issues that do not support increasing the salary of elected officials. Extreme budget cuts recently, I mean, year after year, we're looking at budget cuts all over. Required financing for our sewer projects. Unable to finance the road repairs. Every ward's got that problem. Uh, right now, we're unable to fill vacant city positions, which in turn reflects a reduction in services and reduced staffing. Uh, it's well known we have limited funds for, for our limb pickup program again goes back to uh, filling positions um, one of the things that I have kind of been adamant about for the past five years anyway is an, the the inability to finance needed technological upgrades and, and the one one thing I look at is the uh, the, the telephone sy system in City Hall we, we don't seem to have the money and that was a, a very reasonable amount uh, when we did re receive a quote uh, the stat by statute the city must finance unfunded mandates Okay, example is the pensions. Uh, financing a proposed water tower treating facility upgrade, well, that's something we know that, that's inevitable. It's coming. Uh, and then, of course, required payment for the new water tower, and, and, and the list goes on and on. Um, I wanted to point out, using the, the census numbers from the 2010 census, the current median household income for the city of Taylorville, according to the 2010 census, is $37,617. The per capita money income for the city of Taylorville is $21,095 according to the 2010 United States Census. Both of those numbers, the median and the per capita, are substantially lower than the salaries that this city council is ready to approve with a pay raise. My question is where is the justification for the pay raise when we're sitting with a very comfortable salary at that point? And again, to increase salaries, the city continues to struggle with funding for services that the residents of the community currently have, in my opinion, is irresponsible management of tax dollars. As a city council elected by the peers, to, we need to focus on what the, uh, what the city's needs are, and we need to keep in mind that there is no bailout or rescue money 
available for our municipalities. We keep spending money, we keep spending. So with that, Your Honor, I make a motion to rescind the motion to direct the city attorney to prepare the ordinance setting the salary for the elected officials for the 2013-2017 term as detailed in the minutes of the Thursday, August 30th, 2012, special city, Taterville City Council meeting. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but basically all we were going to do is the minutes of that meeting. And, and as I've said before, the minutes are what's recorded of the meeting. That's history that's already written down, and unless there's a spelling error or something omitted, the only question we have tonight was to approve those minutes as written. So, you right, know. Once they're approved, can we go back after the approval sure. and ask to rescind? Yes, but that's not, I, I thought, it was my understanding that, that I was going to be allowed some additional time to okay. thoroughly uh, find out whether or not the one two-tiered situation, depending on whether an incumbent was reelected or whether someone else was. That was my understanding, okay. Mr. Mayor and uh, Alderman. So I didn't exactly. know that any action was going to be taken tonight one way or other, other than just approving those. Well, and again, there, there is nothing on tonight's agenda that would allow us to, to, to approve that. We're just looking at the minutes themselves. We've got no motions coming from that meeting. Now, correct me if it's I'm wrong, agenda. Mr. Attorney, but doesn't the motion to rescind have to come immediately, the meeting after the meeting that the... Uh, the motion was made. Well, I just happen to have my cheat sheet here, Alderman <laughs> Voda. Well, good. And I will answer that uh, in Stanter. I give a speech on this every year, to the, uh, <laughs> but I always uh, keep this handy. Um, Okay, the motion to rescind is used when the council wants to annul prior action and it's too late to make a motion to cons to reconsider. Reconsider has to be made at the meeting, okay? Motion to rescind can uh, be uh, afterwards. There has to be a motion in a second. Uh, there's two-thirds vote needed if the notice of the proposed motion was not noticed at the previous meeting and not on the agenda. And that's what we have right here, right now, is it was not on the agenda. Correct and it was not noticed at the last meeting. So we take a two-thirds vote, and I don't know exactly what we're sending. What we're sending We're sending is all, of, all of the, to, to, to have the city attorney draft an ordinance fixing the salaries. And I'm As asking, proposed that evening, yes. Yeah, I'm not I'm asking, I don't right. know. That, that is my request for rescission. Okay. So that can, that, that can be done. Uh, it would take a, a motion second and two-thirds vote to rescind uh, directing me to draft the order. Well, but, but now if you, okay, and, and it was, was that with your pending, your written opinion on the legal status of that suggestion. Okay, and I, and Mr. Mayor, I didn't see that in here. Is that, am I missing something? That is written in the motion. It, it oh, it's in the motion. Yes, yeah. the motion's up. Yeah. It's on the back page. Oh, back here. Where does it say that I'm supposed to do? Where, where, where does it say that I'm supposed to do? Research? No, this was a special council meeting. Motion by Alderman Dorchinez, second by Alderman Coons to direct the city attorney to prepare the ordinances. Setting the salary for the following elected officials for the 2013-2017 oh, okay. term based upon written approval of the city attorney. Well, Your Honor, for discussion purposes, I'll second that. Let's, let's see where it's going. Okay. If that's, okay. that's the city attorney's Yeah, opinion. you have to have a motion to second. All right, I'll okay. second that. So we have the initial motion by Alderman voted to rescind the motion made at the special city council meeting uh, held August 30th. And Alderman Walter seconds that. Any discussion or comments? I guess I, you said rescind the motion. You mean rescind the vote? No, rescind the motion. <coughs> it's already been voted on. But it, it can be a motion to rescind is just that. It is to rescind action by this council at a previous meeting. And we, rescind the vote. And we can do that even well, when it's not on the it's agenda. It's not rescinding the vote. It's basically you're rescinding the action that was taken. I suppose, Alderman Dorchinez, you could you could view it that way, but it would basically leave everything. I mean, 
your point's well taken. It's not rescinding the vote because you, you have a vote here tonight whether or not you're going to vote to rescind or not rescind, okay? But it's basically to wipe off the action or void the act, not void, because it wasn't that, there wasn't anything void about it, but it's basically to basically rescind that action on the part of the council. Alderman Bertle. Doesn't it seem a little premature to be rescind? We, we don't even have the advice of the city attorney yet. Right. Well, why don't I we think this should be done at the point where mm. he comes back with his recommendation mm. where they can or can't be done, yeah. and we vote on the original sure. motion up or down. I don't know right. If it's yeah, because we, had, we haven't heard it back from him in writing, and, and that was the motion that was approved at the special city council meeting. So, in theory, because that passed at that meeting, it would take effect upon your written opinion. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you at all, okay. Mr. Mayor, but there is a motion to second on the floor, and now yeah. unless the, the, that motion if, is rescinded, if this then there's got to, there's have if to if be I may, yeah. This motion has got to be made at this meeting, right. okay. per Robert's Rules of Order. The, the, the motion to rescind has got to be done at the following it, meeting it, from it, the time it, the motion it, was made. Right. Well... Not necessarily. The, the fact of the matter is, well, for tonight's purposes, like I said, there's a motion and there's a second. So there either has to be a, you know, you either have to rescind the motion and the second has to be rescinded or you take a vote on it. Okay, and, and if I may, to qualify Please. my reason for this, I truly believe that there was a lot of information that was handed to all of us that evening. We did not have the time to review, and I think we were all under some duress to make a decision because it was a city council meeting as opposed to a meeting, a committee meeting. And that's where I'm at. I'm very uncomfortable with the decision I made that night. That's why I'm asking for the rescission is to come back and let's look at this with all of the information. Mr. Lawrence presented us with much information. Mr. Mr. Dorchinez presented much information. We were sitting here back and forth discussing a percentage raise to getting where the city is financially during that discussion. And I think that this is the time that we have to be very cautious on what we're doing. And that is why I'm bringing this to the table, Your Honor. They, again, the, the question that bothers me about this whole thing is time and time again we say we can't do something if it's not on the agenda. This was not on tonight's agenda other than approval of the minutes of that meeting. That's why minutes have, only. That's why it has to be passed by two-thirds vote. Right. Rather than okay. majority so, vote. So if something is not on the agenda, you can still act on it as no, long no, as you no, get no. two-thirds. Just a motion to rescind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that it? No, I mean, yeah. it's like a motion to table. A motion to table yes. not, is not on the agenda. But you can't table something that's not on the agenda. What's that? <laughs> you wouldn't table something that's not we, on the agenda. We table something all the time. Not, uh, not if it's not on the agenda. Well, I mean, well, what, it doesn't come up. What's got to be on the agenda? This, the, the whole issue, this motion was on the agenda. By nope. that, I mean, not, the motion to rescind was not on the agenda, but the motion to direct me to, to prepare the ordinance subject to my approval is on the agenda. It's in, it, that's not even on the agenda. It's just the minutes only. The no. minutes of that it, meeting are the only things we put on the special city council meeting that's already occurred. Right. And so we, we just have the written on, minutes for that. We've already acted on that special city council. There's a motion to second, and unless somebody wants to withdraw it, then you know it can it can pass or fail as you know okay. depending what what you want to do. Well, I guess the problem I have is that. The motion that was passed was based upon you doing something. Okay, so why don't we let that happen, and then part of the that's way I feel. In speaking with the mayor today, that's mm -hmm. what I thought was going to happen, okay. and I think that we're going to get to the same place regardless of what happens, because the issue is going to be addressed again regardless of whether Alderman voted uh, you force the issue on the motion to rescind or not. Um, but the fact of the matter, I mean, we're going to wind up the same place, okay, uh, regardless of what happens, okay, because th that issue is going to have to be brought up again uh, via your motion to rescind or via what has already, as, as everybody else is saying, what's already in place. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to happen until after uh, the, the alderman hear from me. I don't think this is how it'll play out, but again, I think we have to be careful because, again, what would happen in theory is if we vote to rescind this, you give us information and we say, oh, that makes sense, then we have to go back to what we did the meeting before at the special committee and say, okay, now we do want to do it. I mean, that's what you're saying, right? Basically, we pass it at the special meeting, we rescind it, 
at the same meeting, and then at the same meeting or, or whenever we hear from you, oh, well, now we see it, so that, we can bring it back. That could be a possible way it played out. But it's going to come back to a meeting one way or the other, okay? It's going to come back before the October, uh, the 1st of October meeting. It, it, they have to be fixed or they will remain the way they are. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second, and we guess we'll have to take a vote on it. Well, Alderman Dorchin. I still prefer that this, let this play out. I'll make a motion to the table. Okay. Motion on the table. Well, but you can table that. <laughs> What's that? We've got a motion to rescind on the table. You can't make a motion to the table, can you? Yeah, sure you can. Yeah, thanks, okay. President. You can we have a, okay. We have a motion to table by Alderman Dorchinez. Do I have a second on the motion to table? Point once, point twice. Okay, that motion to table dies for lack of a second. So now we have the motion about rescinding on there. We have a the motion and a second on it. Any other comments? If not, we need to take a vote. I have a question, Alderman Heberle. If the motion to rescind fails we are still going to have the opportunity to discuss this after we get the ruling one way or the other from attorney fines is that correct yes yeah well uh, that's a good question because i think i have to read the motion here but if if you come back in the affirmative saying yes you can do it that was the question that night and that was the only caveat is can we legally do it this thing is going to come back before this council one way or the other that's why I said you're all going to wind up in the same alley, regardless of what happens here tonight. What is the most if, efficient way to get it back? What's that? <laughs> what is the most efficient way to get it back if take this is where it's going to end up anyway? Take a vote on the motion to rescind. Okay. Alderman Heberle. Okay. Just to clarify that if this fails, then we will have an opportunity to discuss this farther, further once we get your ruling one way or the other. It's still going to be an open topic. Mm -mm. It won't be closed. It'll be an ordinance. If, if I may. Alderman Voda. From the way I understand is if you come back and say that we can structure it in the way it is presented, then that motion carries and we're done. Yeah. If it does not, if we cannot use the two-tier, then we're back to the drawing board again. You're back to the drawing board regardless of what happens here this evening. Yeah. All you're doing is rescinding a motion authorizing me to do X, Y, and Z. Um, you guys are going to reconsider that issue one way or the other at some other meeting. Right. So it will be reconsidered okay. one way or the other. Right. The, I, mean, you, it's, it, I disagree. Uh, me too. We're, in the minutes that we're asking him to prepare an ordinance, the ordinance mm -hmm. always come back to us, and we have to vote on that ordinance, right? True. It was my envision, gentlemen, that I was going to come back with a written memo to uh, to you regarding this issue. I was called upon about probably three, if not more, weeks ago. Uh, Clerk Peabody told me that s some aldermen wanted to know whether this is possible. Uh, at first glance, I said, well, it would appear, um, but I said, you know, let's not go too far, let's not spend too much money on this issue until we get, you know, we get something that, that they want, maybe want to go that way. So now it's my understanding we have uh, an issue there, and it was my understanding, again, uh, the mayor and I spoke uh, last Friday, August 31st, uh, and he informed that I would be, uh, be requested to uh, give an opinion whether or not that, in fact, was an alternative. Uh, the mayor has done his, some homework on his part. I have done some homework uh, as late as this afternoon on my part and on uh, August 31st, uh, 2012. And it was my understanding that, um, you know, based upon whether or not uh, you, re you, you basically uh, uh, adhere to my recommendation, then that, that at that point in time, uh, this would be considered at, I assume, the next uh, council meeting, um, uh, or I would be directed at some point in time via a committee meeting to go ahead and draft the ordinance as uh, you ultimately decided it needed to be done, one way or the other. That was my understanding. This evening, if a motion is, the motion is pending is a motion to rescind. It has to pass by two-thirds vote. If it doesn't pass by two-thirds vote, 
then I'm going to, to be directed to take a look at this and get back with you gentlemen uh, and the mayor as to my recommendation or uh, my position with regard to this, what I call a two-tier situation. Uh, in my opinion, it, it doesn't make any difference if the, if the motion fails, I just pointed out. If the motion succeeds, I assume that uh, there will be another committee meeting at which time these same issues will be rehashed and I will be directed one way or the other to do whatever you tell me to do. I believe because we, we do have a time, uh, you know, we have to have 180 days before the election, so we might be looking at another special city council meeting in order to get that done. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. I just have a question. What, what's the um, two-thirds vote? What's the third? What two -thirds is the vote, vote tonight? There would have to be two-thirds to pass. The mayor will be. Uh, it, yeah, the, the the mayor would vote because he is a corporate authority. Anytime there's a supermajority vote required, uh, the mayor would. I mean, you take two-thirds of uh, what? Well, there'd be eight now, so there'd be uh, well, eight president count myself. So we'd have to have six. Well, six. It's, it, it's it's. It's two thirds of the vote of the then sitting corporate authorities, well, whether they're president or not. Of whether president right. or not. So it would be, be, se uh, be seven. Seven. Right? To be over two thirds? It's got to be over two thirds, it's not be over two thirds. Okay, there's so a, it's seven. There's a remainder. Years. It would take. Right. Somebody, somebody take uh, two thirds times. Uh, well, two thirds times uh, nine is uh, six. 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 Yeah. Six, yeah. <clears throat> if, I may, if I may, Your Honor. And correct me if I'm wrong, two Counselor. Third. The one of the one of the uses of the motion to rescind is because one of the aldermen or whoever's on the committee changes his mind on what it was that they voted on originally, and that's where I'm at. I, I, I don't agree after reviewing numbers and seeing where the city's at that, that I voted in, in good faith and that I want to rescind my vote, and the only way I can do that is to make a motion to rescind the motion. Am I correct? Correct. Okay, I'm not saying that. I take it. I'm not asking. I'm not asking everybody else to change their vote. I want it known that I have right. second thoughts on mine, and that if it does not pass, well, it stands the way it is. But at least I'm on record that I have changed my mind and I voted uh, opposite of what my original vote was, and that was my intention on this motion to rescind. And that begs the question of Alderman Dorchinez's question that you're changing the vote. I'm coming full circle now, <laughs> because you didn't make the motion. Uh, it's Alderman Dorchinez made the motion, seconded by Alderman Coombs, the one that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's where you're coming from, Alderman Dorchinez. <laughs> it takes me a little bit. I'll, I'll catch up with you. <coughs> I still have a question. Alderman, well, well, let let him finish. It looks like he's got something he's going. No, to. I. <laughs> I think, that, I think that the motion to rescind needs to be, uh, <coughs> needs to take a vote on it and move on. That's what I think. Okay. Alderman Burrell. We're with a firm number on two-thirds. What is two-thirds? Two-thirds of seven is five. Nine. Nine. No. nine. nine. Two nine. Two Which is two six? Two-thirds of eight is six. Uh, two-thirds of nine have to count all the corporate authorities, including the mayor. Two-thirds of nine is? Six. 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 Thank you. I believe. It is. And getting back to the Alderman Dorchinez's motion to table, if that would have a second, what would that, what, what would transpire then? The motion to rescind would go out the There'd be a motion. Go back and rediscuss the same issue that we made the motion on at the special city council, or do we go back and what do we do at the table? Or what are we tabling it and who's it? Yeah, it, 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 yeah the table would, go, would take it back yeah. to whatever the mayor, whatever the, 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 the chairman of whatever committee wanted to, to do with it at that point in time. But the mayor is correct that we do have a time frame here that's, uh, you know, that if we're going to fix, and that is a very term of art, uh, the salaries, then it needs to be done uh, quickly. So it'll be 180 agree. days prior to, uh, mm -hmm. well, it's actually prior to the time that they take office, I believe. The October 1st. October 1st is the date. Yeah. Yeah. The date. So in order for what we, we did at the Special City Council, Alderman Voters motion to rescind would have to fail. Right. And or Alderman Dorchinez's motion to table would have to. Right. And then, pass. then, then, right. well, either that, and then, like I said, if the, if it rescinded and, and that failed, and so it stands, again, unless somebody brings it up and we have another two thirds vote to go ahead and pass tonight, it's not on the agenda. 
The only thing that is on the agenda is approval of the minutes recorded that night. Correct. Okay. So we would still be looking at another special meeting right. You're to, to discuss this, hear from, okay. take the input from the attorney, and then probably come up with a new motion to vote upon. So we have uh, the first and second. Oh, no, can Just clarification on the two-thirds vote, this being that it's six, did you say it has to be uh, the actual vote to pass this would have to be seven greater than two-thirds or right at two-thirds? It's right at two-thirds because we're talking about nine uh, corporate authority shares. So six would pass it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Alderman Dorch. Okay, I'm trying to make this a little bit easier. Uh -oh. All you want, if I'm understanding what you said a while ago, you said that you're really not concerned that it passes or not. You want to just make sure that you're on the record, that you're against it as opposed to when you voted for it. Right. So why don't you just why don't we just put that in the record and then let's go on? Because it's not in the record, don't we? Yeah. You can put it on the record. Tonight. Well, and, and now now we're discussing something that's, right. that's not different. Yeah. Well, we we yeah. got a first. I mean, we got a, a motion and a second, and I think we need to go ahead and do the roll call. Ray Coots. No. John Lawrence. No. Martin Boda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. Sean Berto. No. Ernie Dorchinan. No. Rob Heberling. No. And I vote. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mayor. Vote no. So it uh, no. So so it it stands. The, mo the original the, the motion stands. Yeah. Right? Real yeah. motion stands. Yeah. The original motion. It's not on the agenda tonight, so we're not going to address it tonight. We will, you know, based upon I will get you copies of whatever the attorney provides me with. Based upon that, we will have another special city council meeting. I'm sure. To revisit this thing and and uh, go from there. I was going to say, Attorney, could you provide that cheat sheet to everybody? I think I've done that in the past, but I'll be more than happy to. Uh, at least me. Sure. <laughs> because I, um, I've had confusion in the last two city council meetings that I, I'm not 100 percent sure on whose opinion we're supposed to take, but yeah. I, I would assume that we should take yours. <clears throat> I would hope so, but that's not <laughs> mandatory. Okay, thank you. Well, if you'd give me a copy of that. Okay, I'd Your Honor. If I'm, if I'm reading this right, I don't think we'd have to have a special meeting because part of this motion that was, it says to direct the city attorney to prepare the ordinances. So if his memo was favorable that we can do this, he prepares the ordinance, we don't have to have a special meeting to discuss that. Unless it's not. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. One thing I do want to go ahead and get done, I think we're still on, on board too. We still have to approve the minutes of that meeting. Is that correct? I believe you're correct. <laughs> okay. I would hand him. A motion to approve the minutes of the meeting from so the special second by Alderman Heberling, second by Alderman Lawrence. Discussion or comments? I just want to say thank you to all of the aldermen for uh, putting up with me this evening. Okay. But we have to have a little excitement once in a while, sure. and I thought this is a, a good educational experience. So all right. Any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Against? Motion passes. City attorney updates. <laughs> I'm going to be brief. <laughs> uh, the Kim Morton easement, uh, we have struck up a dialogue with she and her attorney. Uh, Joe Green is going to, I, I gained permission from the mayor to have Joe Green do some work that they want to know about as far as where the new boundary line for the easement is going to be in relationship to what creek is that? Panther Creek, Black Panther Creek, or whatever it yeah. is. So hopefully we'll get that. The Panic easement, thank goodness that came uh, in right. finally. Uh, so we can get that off the. The mayor has asked me to look into uh, uh, whether or not it is possible for us to uh, recoup some expenses, uh, emergency um, assistant expenses for the plane crash. Um, the mayor was uh, was uh, luckier than I was uh, in, in getting in touch with the powers and being. Uh, Bob Combs has not returned my call. It's my understanding, speaking to uh, some of his underlings, that, that he probably will not return my call until their investigation has been completed. When that will be, I don't know. But we'll look into that, and we'll look into a couple other things, including perhaps sending a demand letter to the owner of the uh, this particular pl plane, which uh, I believe Alderman Walters secured, maybe? Um, the only other thing I just want to report on, you know, the, the mayor is the local liquor control commissioner, um, and uh, we Know, they had this sting, and I just want to report the Kriegers. They cooperated with us 110 percent with regard to that alcohol sting, and uh, the order was entered, and uh, the uh, the suspension will take place, uh, or not suspension, 
a voluntary refrain from the sale of alcohol from September 16, 2012 through uh, Sunday at noon, uh, the following Sunday on S September 23, 2012. The mayor and I always disclose that information to you, Alderman, so you know that everybody's been getting treated equally or fairly and the same. No, there was nothing different with this uh, than any other one. Other than that, uh, Mr. Mayor, I did have uh, the issue of salaries on here, but I think I'm going to commit that to writing and submit that in the memo form. Okay. <coughs> Alderman Dorch Yeah, in, include, you give us the copy of the, the correspondence uh, with Kim, with Morton, Kim Morton, and, and there, was yeah. a, there was a request for expenses. When do we address that? I don't know, Alderman Dorchin is, Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Please. Um, I don't know. I think we, what we need to do first is find out what she wants. Right. Um, uh, her attorney is not going to have to do too much, in my opinion, okay? Right. Um, other than advise her client whether or not she should take this, uh, this new revised easement. Everybody knows that we were going through this because the BABs, uh, people would not you know, cooperate with us, or that's their prerogative. Um, but it's my understanding, again, I can speak with Joe Green, that the way that it is it is now designed, this easement, it really is uh, uh, in favor of Kim regarding her concerns, uh, earlier concerns about the former easement, which basically you have the farmland and then you have the uh, the creek, and then you have the easement, and this would basically bring it over so that the triangle piece that the uh, the creek uh, basically forces to be made in this whole situation is smaller. <coughs> so that would give her more uh, access on the property that she owns. Yeah, sure. So I don't know, Alderman Dorchin is, when we're going to have to discuss that, but we will discuss it whenever we know. She also, I know if you... I don't know if, if the council was privy to some of the emails that she sent me. She was selling, sending her emails to somebody, somebody I don't know, but it wasn't me. And um, uh, she was also talking about because, of course, you know, Kim at one time worked for the Northern Trust, and, and she's in the uh, the uh, the market, uh, stock market, um, very familiar with that. And she was alluding to the fact that based upon the, the corn prices and this and that and that and this, the grain prices that she may want some adjustments to that also. So we'll have to see what other, uh, <coughs> if any, uh, changes or demands she wants. Alderman sure. Walters. What the city attorney was talking about, yes, what, what's on the table right now is, is actually more <coughs> favorable to her and also to follow up all of the legwork, so to speak, has been being done by us here locally. So her attorney or attorneys have very little play in this other than just to look at a piece of paper and yeah, it looks okay. We, we've done all the work on our end. Okay. Any other questions or comments? <laughs> all right, thank you. <coughs> Moving on to mayor updates. Uh, just a reminder for anyone interested in going to the IML conference, Pam really needs to know. She's going to make reservations tomorrow or the day after, so get with her right away if you're interested. Um, of course, we had the six-inch rain event this uh, weekend, and uh, you know, all in all, I think our sanitary system, uh, sanitary sewer system, uh, storm sewer system handled it very well. So, I mean, there's a little bit of water, but not not nearly what has we've experienced in the past. And as a result of the cooler temperatures uh, and the recent rainfall, I am going to rescind the voluntary water conservation measures that were implemented the uh, first of August, and that'll be effective immediately. Any other questions? Here you not, we'll move on to committee reports, discussions and our motions to approve, adopt, and deny, and or table, and or amend, and refer to an appropriate committee in whole or in part the following matters, the matters regarding the following subject matters discussed at the committee level. And we have the Street and Sewer Committee. Uh, Your Honor, there was just one motion that hasn't already been discussed, and that was the Van Boosters' request to solicit funds. Uh, the motion was made by Alderman Dorsen and Sigma Alderman Heberling to recommend that the City Council to allow the Table High School Band to solicit funds on <coughs> Saturday, October the 20th, 2012 at the corner of West Main Cross and Webster Street, and that motion carried four to nothing. Sorry. Okay, a second on that? Second. Alderman well, Heberling, discussion and comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? All right. All right. Against? Motion passes. Next we have a motion to approve and ratify payment of bills in the amount of $285,343.74. I'll make that motion, Your Honor, with a brief comment. Okay. Got a second? I'll second with no comment. Alderman Dorchinez. Go ahead with your comment. Alderman Lawrence. 
Uh, I reviewed all the bills today. Uh, they're adequately uh, described check by check. Uh, I didn't have any problem with it, and I'll forbear the details of the bigger ticket items. And uh, as I say, they're all in order to be approved. Okay. Any other comments? Hearing none, roll call. John Lawrence. Yes. Martin Voda. Yes. Earl Walters. Yes. John Bertle. Yes. Tony Dorchinan. Yes. Rob Hedling. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. Okay, for Public Act 96 1473, this portion of the City Council meeting is reserved for any city resident wishing to address the Council on issues that are relevant to the Council. Would anyone like to address the Council? No one? I got a motion to adjourn by Alderman Bertle, second by Alderman Heberly. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? Motion passes. Meeting adjourned to 8.01 p.m.